I'm now joined on the sports mix by the Spring Mills football head coach, Marcus Law. Coach Law, your team improves to 5-0 and with a 64-0 win against North Hagerstown, the fifth straight shutout on the year for your program. Just give us your thoughts on the win. Well, I thought going into the game that uh, Hagerstown, uh, they were actually a much better te- improved team than they had been in the previous years. Um, they had some guys with some nice length on them. And honestly, going into the game, and once we kind of started, their game plan was, was really kind of effective as in just what they were trying to take away from us. And it was one of those things where we were really forced to, like we talked about last week, taking what they're giving us instead of trying to force shots down the field. Um, offensively, uh, we really kind of leaned on our running backs to try to get things going. They did an excellent job of crowding the box and trying to really force us to throw the ball. But, of course, when we threw, unlike most teams, they sat there and dropped ball back to what we're typically used to. But, again, giving Max credit and those receivers credit, finding those windows in the defense and, and trying to sit down the zone coverage. Um, defensively, I uh, can't say enough. Those guys, I mean, they're flying around, uh, doing the things that we kind of talk about all week long. And really kind of stuffed them out in some different scenarios and stuff like that. And special team was – they were on point this week as far as uh, getting a return and everything. Um, we got guys uh, looking on film, doing the extra things that we talked about as far as those different types of blocks and just trying to help their teammate and not being selfish and, and, and getting that extra key box to help bring a few things for us. So all around, great effort by all three phases of of our team this past week. You guys have now made it to the halfway point of the season, outscoring opponents 254 to 0 in those uh, five games. At the start of the year, is this where you expected your team to uh, be playing this well already, halfway through? Well, <laughs> well I thought we'd be doing pretty well this year. Um, honestly, um, to the rate where we are right now, I definitely didn't expect that. But, you know, you always go into a season – with the guys we had coming back, we kind of figured that we can kind of uh, be, have more production than we did a year ago. But, I mean, give give those guys credit. And again, I think it starts in the off season, us getting in the weight room and, and getting the chemistry tied down pretty quick in the spring because, again, it wasn't anything new that we've installed, but just kind of uh, going back and look what we did the previous year and try to amp it up and, and try to get it going a little bit faster. What are some things that you still feel like your team needs to improve off after that game? On Friday, well, I think offensively, um, I always stress my guys being able, to, as far as receivers being able to run crisper routes. Um, I think it's going to get more important when we head down the line, um, even this week here with with uh, Washington wanting to play more cover one, cover zero, um, being able to get open. Uh, so that's going to be one of the things we focus on with these guys this week. Um, also, with our quarterback, a few times in the game, I thought we could have got the ball in our hands a little bit quicker. Um, but, again, just get with Max and Rowan and then really repeti- repetition of how quick can we get the ball out into our playmaker's hand. Um, I thought the running game was pretty well this, this week. Again, with Washington, they'll bring a little bit more blitz package for us this week. So, again, just repetition of, of getting ready for those different things and our backs being patient and letting the line to set it up for them. Um, defensively, <laughs> again, it's one of those things. Uh, again, half the problem is, you know, just getting the lines correctly, and, and those guys have done that up to this point. Um, just really staying knuckled and bearing down to what we need to do. You mentioned Washington, who's your next opponent. They've had a great start as well, 4-1, and one, mm-hmm. best start in program history, an overtime game away from also – being 5-0 and oh, in the film that you've seen on Washington, what are some things that have uh, stood out to you about this year's Patriots team? Well, I think they're more physical, and that's the one thing that kind of sticks out. Um, they've got a few more playmakers out there, um, be it at the receiver and, and both quarterbacks they use out there. And each one of those two guys bring something unique to the table. Um, it'll definitely be one of the things for us, depending on what quarterback's in there, knowing who's in there, and, and then also knowing the tendencies that they could do with each one of those guys, um, I think it'll be important to also recognize where certain receivers are at and where they line up at as, as well to uh, make sure in the right cover as far as defensively. Um, but, yeah, I, I think they're definitely a much more physical team. What are some things that your team will need to do to get the win? Recognize blitz. Uh, recognize down distance. Um, I think – uh, they've shown uh, pressure, um, being able to recognize it, be able to pick it up and give our uh, backs time to either run the ball, handing it off, or um, getting the ball to our playmaker's hand. 
And that's also one of the things, uh, being and staying in front of the chains. Uh, we don't want to fall second and whatever and for a long ways. Um, just keeping uh, down distance relatively close. It'll be the 11th time Spring Mills and Washington have uh, went head-to-head, the two youngest schools in the Eastern Panhandle. You guys lead the all-time series 9-1, to one, all nine of those wins uh, coming in a row after – in 2013, it was Washington's only win against Spring Mills. Just tell us a little bit, I guess, about this rivalry, how big it is in uh, Spring Mills, and if not, what maybe can add to it this year. Well, I think this game will definitely be more interesting. Um, I think we've both gotten out, like you said, the best start in both programs' history. Um, I, I think they honestly feel like they have a lot they can prove, and, I mean, getting this win, uh, giving our ranks so, uh and where we are right now, this will be everything to them. And that's one of the things that we've been preaching to our guys is we're no, no longer the ones out there doing the hunting. We are the hunted. And so with that mindset, you know, we've got to be in our best this week. We've got to go out and have two really good days of practice today, uh, tomorrow and, and, and Wednesday. And so you know, take every opponent seriously, no matter who it is. All right, Coach Law, anything else? If not, we'll get to the fun question. Uh, no, nothing else on that one. All right. I'm not sure if we asked this or not last year. I feel like we might have, but I'm going to still ask it again this year just in case. Uh, pre-game, do you have any pre-game rituals or superstitions that you still do uh, here as a coach or maybe as a player? Did you have any? Well, my biggest one is music. I, I got to have my tunes in. Uh, and honestly, the music has changed over time from my playing days to now, but I got to have a pair of head earbuds and, and music in there. Uh, one of the things I guess I kind of gave up this year was uh, one of my big things was setting up our end zone cameras and stuff. So we've got a couple of young guys now that have taken to it. So I've, I had to give that one up. So now it's just down listening to music now. Any music in particular? Does it just uh, change week in, week out? Is there one song maybe that you always have to listen to, though? No, it, it honestly changes. Like I'll go back. I'm showing my age. I'll go back to the, like the '90s music, and then occasionally I'll get up birthday stuff. But yeah, it, it definitely definitely changes based on what I hear on the radio or what I'm hearing all week long. But that's just a big one for me. All right, Coach Law. Thank you for the time and best of luck Friday. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you.